Peter. Yes. Hey guys, my name is Lauren Duke and I get to lead the team call tonight. I'm super excited because um, I'm going to talk about something that we all need in our businesses, which is momentum. And before I get started, I just want to say hello to everybody and if the lighting is bad, deal with it because this is how we roll. At least there are no gremlins stopping the recording and so far I have good Wi-Fi, yay, and I press record, so no whammies, right? We're going to be great on this call. Um, it just seems like every Monday there's some gremlin that happens where the call gets garbly goop and people can't hear you and someone's dog's barking or someone's kid is crying, blah, blah, blah. So let's hope that there's nothing that happens with that. Um, when we were talking about a, t a call topic, you know, we can train on various things and we can talk about specifics for you guys and give you checklists and scripts and all that stuff. But something that we rarely talk about is just momentum. And you're just like, well, I mean, duh, we talk about that all the time. But when we were talking about this in our, um, planning group, I had just been listening to Grant Cardone, the 10X rule, walking around the grocery store, literally headphones in, nodding my head. People think I'm crazy walking through the grocery store. Yes, that's so smart. Like calling audibly in the middle of the grocery store. People are stopping. Like, is she talking to me? Like, I'm listening to a book. It's fine. You know, I'm, I'm okay to have that reputation as the crazy lady. It's fine. So I was like, you guys, I'm totally stoked about this. I want to talk about momentum. And they're like, great, do it. Because I can get on my soapbox very easily and definitely um, preach just a little bit. But I hope that I get to put a little different spin on it for you guys, okay? So if I keep looking at my notes, it's because I want to be very purposeful in what I share with you guys. So please forgive me, but I hope, I'm not a slide kind of girl, sorry. I won't stick to them, so I'm just, why, why would I waste time? I will give you very tangible points, so I hope you have a notebook and paper, and at the end we can go over a couple things, but I promise I'll keep to the time. So basically, I'm going to preach a little bit and just tell it, tell it to you like it is. You, some of you might be like, well, duh, but some of, them are, some of you are going to have these aha moments where you're just like, Oh, well, that makes total sense. Hello. It's called Grant Cardone, um, the 10X Rule. Grant is actually the author. I love it because it's on Audible, so I can listen to it. I, I'm not like a sit down and read kind of person. I want to listen to it and walk around while I'm doing 9,000 other things. So there is, there is kind of the momentum we're talking about, right? Um, but some of these things that I'm going to tell you are so simple and so clear that I hope you'll be excited, not because you're just like, okay, that was actually easy. I don't have to change my whole life in order to implement this. This was a no-brainer, right? Oh, duh. These are duh, aha moments. So um, let's think about to build momentum. What does that mean for you? I feel like I'm looking off to the left, and I don't really need to do that because my notes are right here. Have you ever heard someone say, um, maybe they're in an interview and like, wow, what's the secret to your success? And they go, well, I just do 0.01% more than anyone else. Well, yeah, that's called work, right? I'm going to work because I want to do more than anybody else. Therefore, I stand out more than anyone else. Therefore, you see me as a successful person. That 0.1% is like, eh, great. But what if you're just consistent over time? What if you're just constantly doing the basics and you keep doing and you keep doing and you keep doing? That is also the compound effect, but that is building momentum. So that's what I want to talk to you guys today about. Not just being like, I got to work 9 million times harder than everybody else. No, you just have to do things really well and keep doing them. That's what momentum is. Because over time, it's like the snowball. You made one little... Holy, don't share your screen. No, who's sharing their screen? <laughs> okay, there's the whammy. Dang it, we had one. That's okay, at least it was funny. Ha! That was awesome. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so everyone starts out with the same little snowball, right? We all start out with the same business, the same opportunity, but it's just, who rolls theirs and who has maybe a bigger hill? 
who rolls theirs faster and which one gains the most momentum over time. We're all going to grow and build, but maybe some of you haven't even put your snowball down. Maybe you're still like holding on to it, looking at your pretty package, and you're just like, I'm a coach. Uh, what, what are you going to do with it? It's never going to get any bigger. It's never going to grow unless you release it out there, your story, your, your transformation, your invitation, and you let it gain momentum and you let it grow. You've got to give it a chance. Oh, my notes. Dang it. Okay. Um, so let's think about this. Um, hold on. Okay. So I talked about the 0.1%. That's some of the top coaches in the company say that, right? They talk about their behavior. They talk about their travel. They show up. They host Super Saturdays. They never miss an event. They show how being a coach has truly changed their lives for the better. They live a healthy, fulfilling life. They have no problem uh -huh, sharing that daily in all areas of their life. There it is. That's the releasing the snowball. That's the building the fire, which I'm going to get to in a minute. That is actually building the momentum. You've got to start somewhere. So I'm not going to like throw it out at you at once. We're going to start here. When you're sharing your story, oh wait, think of all the areas of your life that you have changed or that you want to change as a coach. Like just think about that for a minute. Are you giving those areas focus? Like I've heard so many people say, this is my plan B. Like, I don't have any other plan. This has got to work for me. Great. Then how much focus are you giving this? And can you really, really say that you are being so intentional about it that it is your only focus in those business hours that you've allotted yourself? Are you really focusing on becoming a better you? Are you really focusing on being stronger in those areas that require your focus? If you realize that you're having problems with inviting, sharing your story, then you should probably focus your personal development on finding your story and asking help from others. May I please see how you share without selling? Could you read this for me? Does this sound personal enough? Is this too long? Is this too short? Is there enough detail? Does it evoke emotion? Or do all you see is dollar sign? Or all you see are dollar signs? Like, really think about that. If you're having problems in certain areas of your life, then your personal development has got to help you with that. And I know on our team page, we have a list of just personal development books that are broken up by category. You know, if you're shy, if you're having problems with sharing, if you're, you're whatever it is, it's broken up by that. And it's a really cool resource that we have that I'm happy to share if you guys don't have it. Because it's one of those things where each new coach has something different that they need to focus on. And so personal development is just one of the keys. And you guys, I'm not preaching to the choir here, but I'm just saying it's really helped me um, work through things. And if you're constantly in your personal development, then you constantly have something to share. So that can be one of the things that people come to you every single day to learn about. My notes keep disappearing. It's not okay. Um, so when you're sharing your story, how are you going to focus on the things that you want to change with positivity? Okay, and I'm going to break that down. I mean, right now. Not like, I got to be a coach so that one day, no, 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 no. We're talking about right now, not five years from now. You need to talk about the vacation that you are going to take, you are planning right now to take with your family, or the opportunities you will provide. It's the way you speak. It's the way you carry yourself. It's the way that you think. You, you have to dream big. You don't share as if one day I'll see change. You speak as if it's already happened. I'm already living it. I'm already experiencing it. I am a whatever rank you want to be. I am debt free. I am paying cash for my kids college. I am doing those things so that you start thinking that way. Once you take that 10 X thinking and behavior, you continue to add wood to you to your fire. And so you burn that joint down. That is really cool. So you never reset. You never stop. This is something that you have got to think about every single day. You know, if you're really, really focused, if you're really, really in this for the long haul, then you become a coach and you are hitting the ground running. You're not waiting for someone else to give you the blueprint. You're not waiting for someone else to give you permission. You have the same startup that everybody else did. 
and it's your time and your turn to create the momentum. And we're going to talk about it a little bit more. Don't think that I'm just like, ah. all right. So when you see that your business isn't going the direction you like, you've got to decide that now is the time to take massive action and enlist the help of others who can help you stoke the fire, right? I don't have all the answers. I go to people and I say, look, I don't know what I'm doing. You ping pong off of other people. You grow with other people. You gain momentum and you gain ideas and you gain creativity. And when you're constantly surrounded and investing in people, you're going to have lists and lists and lists of ideas that you can just work from forever. One thing my assistant Melissa and I did was we sat down one time and we just came up with so many ideas. I mean, I'll never get to all of them. It was just two of us. Can you imagine if you had like a group think tank where you just sat around and you thought of how many different ways can I share? What kind of events? What kind of themes? You make a list and that is, you can work off of that for such a long time and use that as a resource. That's creating momentum in your business just by reaching out and using your peers as your accountability partners, as your business partners, because like you've heard so many times before, we are one big team. So here's something that is so key and so will really halt your productivity from the get-go. I know I've done it, and I've heard a lot of other people do it. Um, don't rest. Don't stop. Just when you see something that happens that you don't like, I mean, how many times have we listened to a national wake-up call or our coaches told us about some update in an FAQ or some new policy and we're like, ugh, and we throw a fit. And our team page goes and blows up because we're just so upset about this new policy and we blame it on that. I've lost so many coaches. My business is suffering. Boom. That is junk. Because if you were really building momentum this entire time, there is nothing that will stop it. Nothing from corporate, nothing from outside factors, nothing will stop it if you are seriously building momentum every single day. That's just the way it is. You can talk to anybody in corporate and they'll say, you know, there's a lot of people who are complaining about the changes happening and about their businesses being stagnant. But then on the other hand, there's some coaches just really killing it because they're not letting anything affect it. So which one are you? Are you going to continue to build momentum even when times are difficult? And who decides they're difficult? We do. You can also decide that you're not going to let that affect you at all. And you're going to continue to show up every day and you're going to continue to have those conversations because you can't control what other people do. You can only control what you do. See, these aren't even my notes. I'm getting off on a tangent. Woo! Getting warm in here. So um, when you're talking about that fire, you know, each of us start, I, I use a snowball analogy, but I have a gas fireplace. Our pilot light is always lit, all right? So think about everyone starts with a pilot light, but until you add fuel to it, it's just always going to burn that one teeny little light. It will never ignite anything, nothing. You're the one who has to add fuel to the fire, but then you're also the one that has to keep adding fuel. You know, if you're going to go to a bonfire and you want to sit out there for a few hours, you can't just add three logs and then expect to sit out there and sing songs and roast s'mores with 20 people. More, more logs have to be added to the fire. And that's our invitations. That's our stories. That's our whatever you want to equate that to in our business. That's our personal development. That's us going to conventions and that's bettering ourselves. That's investing back into our business. That's investing back into ourselves. That's investing into our coaches. That's whatever we do to continue the momentum every single day and not stopping when we hit one benchmark. Because when you, when you hit your success point and you stop, you just let all that momentum fall away. You decide to take a month's vacation without doing anything because you're like, sweet, I hit that goal. Now I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to enjoy it for a minute. And then you go, Rah! what happened? Why did I hit success club? Because um, you weren't doing anything. That's why. That's a pretty simple answer or a pretty simple question. Um, you keep adding wood to the fire, right? And then, I mean, there's the whole analogy and Tiffany, no, it's it Amber. Amber Bailey said this long ago when she was, still teaching full-time, and I love this analogy, and I use it all the time. She said, 
I was my own worst enemy because I would get really excited, and you can use the fire analogy or whatever. I'm really excited, and I would push, 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 push. I'd be so excited, and then I'd be like, oh, I'm going to take a break. If you're pushing a car up a hill and you're doing it steady, 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 it's going to keep going up. But if you take a break, that car is going to roll back on you. And guess how much energy it's going to take to get started again? Twice as much. But if you continue and you're solidly building momentum, even if it's just a little bit at a time, you're going to get to your goal and then you keep going. It's okay to rest. We don't just stop and like take a vacation and stop doing everything and stop investing back into your team. So here's the thing. The biggest mistake you can make is to, achieve, is to achieve success and then stop and bathe in it and revel in it for a while. We all have setbacks and life happens. That's the last I'll say about that because I don't want it to be a focus. I don't want to make excuses, but how badly do you want to achieve your goals? How important is this opportunity to you? How important is this plan B? There is no plan C. This is it. How important is it to you that you're willing to show up and keep pushing and keep adding fuel to that fire every day? So success demands attention and blesses those who are dedicated to giving it attention. Think about this. A lawn or a garden. See, I'm all about analogies. A lawn or a garden requires constant trimming. Constant mowing, constant edging, planting, fertilizing, or it dies. And I tell you what, I have a black thumb. So please don't take any gardening advice from me, but my mother can look at something and it just blooms. But that's because she understands it and she takes the time to water it, to fertilize it, to actually put it in the right size pot. Me, I'm like, that's good, it came in that, that's the right size. She's like, no, Lauren. If it's going to grow, you have to provide for it. You have to give it a home in which to grow. You've got to allow it space, and you've got to feed it. Oh, thanks, Mom. Can you just pot all my plants? This is a real conversation. Um, you have to keep giving attention to that. You can't retreat. And um, no retreating for those who want to create and achieve it. Okay, I don't know what I meant there. Um, but that also means <laughs> that you're sharing it. Okay, our neighbor has this amazing lawn guy who's brought his lawn back from death to life. Ours is kind of in the being revitalized stage. But he shared with us knowledge. He shared with us the gentleman who has the knowledge to help us. And our lawn is slowly coming back. Or I don't know if you've ever taken a plug of something. My mom likes to take pieces of a plant and replant them and grow them bigger or, you know, take plugs. You can do that with grass. Think about that in terms of your business. What are you taking from your momentum, from things you've learned and ways you've grown, and how are you planting that within your team? Are you sharing your scripts? Are you sharing, hey guys, this is totally working for me. I'm going to take a screenshot of it for you. This was my invitation. This was her response. This was how I responded. Because I don't know about you, but I'm a visual person. And so when I can see, oh, that really was a great way to word that. And look at how she responded. That was really smart. Then I can put that into my own words or I can use that knowledge and recall that later. And I can remember my team, my upline, my coach was willing to put that back into our team page for me. I'm going to keep investing into this team because we are part of one big root system that supports the whole, right? So, um, la 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 la, create momentum, I found it, that you grow, yay, okay. So, momentum is something that gets out of control. You keep it steady. Momentum keeps going on its own if you keep feeding it. Now, think about this. You can get to the point, the point where you grow so much that maybe you require help, that's awesome. Think about how much more momentum you can generate by adding someone else to help you. Maybe you get to the point where you need an assistant or you need someone just to bounce ideas off of, a success partner. That's awesome because then you're helping one another. You get to grow even more and you get an outside source or an outside idea and that creates more momentum. Don't think that you have to be singular in this. We are independent coaches, but we, have a, we are a part of such a, a much bigger team. So think, how can I reach out and how can I help other people? All right, 
you also can't overexpose yourself. I've heard people say, oh, what if people get sick of me? What if people start to equate your name with exactly what you're trying to share? So that every time they see a Beachbody commercial, they're like, oh, who was that that was sharing that? Well, that was Amy. I'm going to ask her. They need to start equating this with you. They need to end have your name next to that product. You know, they need to go, okay, so I, this happened to me today. A lady said, and I've known her for a while, and she knows many beach body coaches, okay, from military, and she found out that she has a lot of food allergies, a lot of issues, and she needs to focus on vegan sources of protein, and she's having a hard time supplementing her diet. Lauren, May I please try Vegan Shakeology? Why, yes. Yes, you can. She came to me. I we haven't talked in over a year. She came to me because she remembers I use it. I talk about it. I talk about the benefits. She trusts me. So she's equated my name with this product. That is a good kind of exposure. You can get overexposed in something in such a positive way and not be pushy. Like, do you have anybody who just keeps adding you to groups without asking you? I found this secret portal to every group I've ever been added to yesterday. It's, it's ongoing. I, I couldn't believe. I was like, how many lip groups are there and lashes? And I just couldn't believe I've been added to all these. I had no idea. Don't be that because now I don't want anything to do with them. But if you're sharing your story authentically, and you keep talking about how um, this has impacted your life in a positive way, people are going to remember that over, hey, I added you to this group for a free webinar. I'm going to talk about my mascara. You know? No, thank you. So don't be that person. Be the one who shares authentically you. I hope I didn't offend anybody who loves mascara. I don't use it. So anyway, um, Anyway, open exposure. So I'm coming to the end, which I'm doing great on time. Yay! You create momentum by showing up every day and having a plan. If you haven't heard this, write it down. You should be sharing five things. And people come to you every day and they're like, I can see these five things. This is what I talk about. Faith, family, fun, fitness. And then I try to add like another F every once in a while. Fancy, funny, silly. Yeah, that's an S. But that's not an F. But you get, you get what I'm saying. I like to share those things on my page. And so I talk about that, it's in the description. And I create momentum by continuously sharing those things. So every day, I think my first post is gonna be something from my personal development. It's gonna be faith. Then I'm gonna do something, maybe fitness, because I wanna share a video. I wanna share that I showed up and that was accountability. And then I'm gonna talk about, you know, something to do with family. And maybe it's a recipe. Maybe it's something silly. Maybe it's a quote about family. And it, whatever it is, that's what I'm saying. You create momentum by showing up and continuously sharing those things. They should know, or I should know what I'm going to talk about every day. And you should have a flow to your posting, your branding. Meaning, that's me. My logo is there. My name is on it. That is me. No one else can take that. That's my picture, that's my pose, that's my workout, that's my saying, me. That's you. No one can take that from you. And you should have a flow to your week. Like this week we know we have a sneak peek coming up with joy. You should have a flow and you should be talking about that right now. You should be inviting people to that saying, hey guys, let me talk to you about what this opportunity has meant to me and why it's changed my life. And let me just invite you and if you want to join, just kick me a message real quick and I'll add you to the group. Like, not a big deal, not flowy, showy, but be you, go live. Get on there and create momentum by speaking about what's coming up and show yourself and show your story and then invite people to the next thing so that you keep going. Know a flow to your week. What's coming up? What do I need to focus on and throw my energy towards? How can I create opportunities for growth in my team? How can I grow myself? What can I do to step up my game? How can I create momentum and stoke the fire that was lit when I first became a coach? Like, what was the thing that made you want to be a coach that was like that little spark 
Because that's the thing that you need to groom and grow and soak every single day. You've got to remember what it was like to be that new coach and then add to that all the time. And that's what creating momentum is. So you have to think about it, um, a couple questions to end. And um, I don't know if we'll open it up for anything, but some of you are still sitting there with the pilot light on. You're waiting for a little fuel to burn something, but you're the only one who can create that. You're really the only one who can add that fuel. While others, they started out with a full blaze from day one. They might not have known what the heck they were doing, but they were all in. So now you're sitting around embers and it's time to add a little life and oxygen to that fire again and get it going. There really is no excuse, you know, with all the things that are coming up in our company. With the All Access Pass, with the new flavors of Shakeology, with new programs coming out, with the All Access Pass being as low as it is, with international market we're going to be opened up soon, with Summit coming up, this is what we talk about. We try to build momentum to summit because that is when everything explodes. There's excitement, there's energy, there's, we're coming together as one big family. We're doing live workouts, we're being able to actually put our hands on the products, have our pictures taken with the trainers. Right now is the time to be building the momentum, bleh, can't even say the word, momentum towards that one event. And if you build enough momentum right now, you will be able to keep that going after summit and push your business forward even more. So it's like, what are you doing right now that's building the momentum necessary for July? It's almost the end of April, so you have three months to really stoke that fire. You've gotta do it on your own, and you've gotta keep building and adding to it. You have the opportunity, you have the tools, you have the team, you have the resources, you have everything you could possibly need right in front of you. And you might feel like a broken record from time to time, but there are people out there who didn't hear you yesterday, but will hear you today. People who heard you today who won't hear you tomorrow. So you keep sharing that message in a different way every single day. But that's your life. That's what you're sharing is, I'm a healthier, more fulfilled person from the inside out because of this opportunity, because I took a leap, because I stepped out, and I'm gonna add to this fire every day, and it's gonna keep burning. So, a couple questions. Why did I do this? There aren't four. Okay, maybe there are. Okay. What is the fire that you've always wanted to start? Your focus. What's the goal? What is the thing that you've always wanted to achieve? Okay? How could you add to your fire today? What could you do right after this call to add to your business, to add momentum? Could you do 10 invites? Could you follow up with 10 people? Could you share some inspiration, some of your personal story? Be like, I just had to share this. I got off this awesome team call with this really crazy girl, and she totally stoked my fire, and I can't wait to share. That would be me. I'm just saying. I'm, you, you don't have to say that, or you could. Um, and who could you, or who could help you stoke your fire? Maybe you contact your success partner, and you go, okay, what can we do? What's our plan of attack starting tomorrow or tonight? Um, share your goals. Be accountable with that person. When you put it out there, then they can go, remember what you said that this was your date, not like three months from now, but your date is actually coming up, and what are you doing to achieve your goal? Crap, I did say that, didn't I? You're right. Okay, I'm working. All right, and think about this. When you, I'm going to say it, okay. When you create momentum, kind of what I was talking about before, it will carry you even when you don't think you are performing at your highest. Even on the days when you're like, I did 50 invites, I rocked it. Okay, that's great. Maybe tomorrow you did 10. And you just, you had like five appointments and you had a sick kid puking all over you. There's still momentum, right? Because you were still showing up. And those 50 invites, you had that rocking day. Don't, don't like be, be like, I did little yesterday, so I've got to do 2,000 times more today. I'm telling you, steady, steady, show up every day. Keep that momentum going. Some days you're going to be a rock star, and some days you're going to have the flu. But at least you keep that momentum going. So I hope that helped you just a little bit. I'm the type of person who I would do 50 invites on a Monday, 
And then I would ride that momentum wave all week with conversations. And then I did 50 again on the next Monday. So that was just the way I operated because I am too ADD to sit down and actually do 10 every day or five every day. So I would just rock it out in one day. No one said you have to like follow a certain plan. Just do what works for you, but own it. Like don't say I did 50 invites when you only did two, you know? So whatever works for you, make it work. But, um, OMG, thank you. You're welcome, Amy. Uh, so, like I said, I have notes. If you want anything from our team, we're open book. We share everything. Um, like I said, we last week I did a screenshot of an invite that was really rocking and showed everybody my follow-up message and had like seven calls set up for that one thing. And now I have like ten more. And it just it just keeps snowballing because I don't stop. You keep keep checking in with people, keep messaging people, keep inviting people, keep following up with people, keep sharing, keep going live, keep being you. <sighs> now I have a dry mouth. So um, I'll totally share the PD list for sure. But I'm going to stop the recording now. Peace out. I'm still here. So I'll stay on for a couple more minutes. We can chat or you can go. My family's having dinner. So uh, great. Hope you had a great call and hope you took some notes and got a lot out of this. So there you go. It's Grant Cardone, 10X Rule, just a little snippet of something that lit my fire. <laughs>